Oh, yeah, Mr. Turtle. Oh. Anyhow, it's time to clean the filters. Okay, we're gonna enter the little shack I built for the uh, filter. Here's the filter by Sacramento Koi at, I guess, the Advantage. And let's follow the instructions. Advantage B filter instructions. Okay, turn off pump, first thing. Let me place this here. So, turn off the pump. Then step two. Move the gauge here to backwash. Turn the pump back on. It says turn on pump for about 15 seconds, so let's wait about 15 seconds. about 15 seconds, turn off pump, turn valve to rinse, open the ball valve under the blower, this is the blower, so this is what they're referring to down here, let's open it up, and then we're going to turn on the blower, as soon as the, uh, the beads start to fall, collapse, okay, Right about there, then we're going to turn it on. It says turn it on 30 to 60 seconds. Seven. With the blower still running, turn off the backwash. Instead of letting the water go into the drain, I put a PVC pipe there with one of this glue uh, hose here. I guess it's used for pools, or whatever. And I water my trees. And you can see all this water. This is actually great for vegetation with all that fish poop in it. And so my trees here that actually create a great shade. Hey Tara, what's up? You want a bath of that dirty water? I don't think so. Okay, step eight. Turn off blower and close valve under blower. So we're gonna turn off the blower. And we're gonna close the valve now. Okay. Now this step eight, turn on okay. Turn on pump, and we're still on backwash. Now we're going to wait for the waste water 
in the sight glass to become clear, roughly 60 seconds. So we're going to wait for this to become clear. This I can't tell because there's so much algae in there. I guess at one point I need to take this apart and clean this clear PVC and this clear plastic, whatever it is. So we'll give it 30 to 60 seconds. Okay, we're step 11, turn off pump. Turn valve to rinse. Turn on pump and leave on rinse briefly until water until water and sight glass becomes clear again. Now this one's fairly easy to clean. I've cleaned it in the past. I basically unscrew this here, remove the algae from that. As for this one here, it looks like it's a little more trouble to remove. And it might be that I just unscrew these here, and then I don't know. I guess I got to call the uh, Sacramento, Sacramento Koi people and see how to clean this. It looks like it's fairly easy, but we'll see. Now we're on step 14. Turn off pump and turn valve back to filter. So we're going to turn off the pump. Put this back to filter and turn it back on. And we're done. Now we'll just wait for the waterfall to come back on. Okay, here comes the first waterfall right here. This is the smaller of the two. Here, we don't have our waterfalls really gushing because it makes too much noise. So most of the water returning to the pond comes from the, um, the jets. There's five jets around the pond. And we kind of like a nice little soothing waterfall. As you can see, it's starting to come down. We got the first one going. And here we go. No, this is what we like. It's, it's soothing, it's not overpowering, and it's not to the point where it gets loud. And then you have issues kind of hearing your gas or this. It just becomes a headache after a while. Uh, once a month before back washing, filter, run turn off pump and open ball valve at the bottom of the filter. And this is what we're referring to down at the bottom of the filter, you have that. Then it says, leave valve open until water runs clear for three, three to six seconds. If connected to pipe, add a sight glass. Once, once you're done, close the valve and continue backwash as normal. It says, caution, leaving ball valve open too long will cause a loss of beads. So if you leave it open, not paying attention, you're gonna end up losing your little beads. The little beads are your little uh, beads you have in here. So those will actually drain through the bottom if you're not careful.